My name is Carolina. I live in the U.S. in Nashville, Tennessee. You all three. We've had it for about two years now. I sail mostly in lakes, and with the T-Wall, I've sailed it in a few lakes around Nashville. Mostly solo, but I also use it. Um, I work at a summer camp there in Nashville, and I've been using it with kids to show them different types of boats. So it's usually me and then two other students, and they love it. Yes, I've been sailing since I was 10, and I've been working as a sailing instructor since I was 16. When I was very little, I was on my dad's Catalina 30, but then when I started sailing, I was on lasers, Hunter 14s, Catalina 14s, Opti's, and Sunfish. It's a lot lighter, so it's a lot more sensitive. I would compare it to like an open bic. I think it's more direct in its way of sailing. It's a very easy boat to sail for, for beginners, but it's also fun for experienced sailors as well. I guess I really, I wasn't sure what I was expecting because I've never sailed an inflatable boat. And so it was impressive to see how how well it sailed and how sturdy the boat was um, once you set it all up. Probably using it at camp at, in, in Nashville with the kids and just their faces when they see it and it's brand new to them. And it's a lot bigger than the other boats that we have at the marina, so it's exciting for them. I have a lot of parents asking about it and all of the kids are like, mom, I want one too, because it's, it seems more, it's more accessible to them since it's, it can be packaged you know, or like, yeah, packaged down. So you don't need to have it at a marina necessarily. So a lot of the parents are really, really into it. I almost brought it to Italy because right now I'm, I'm studying in, in Italy, I'm in Florence right now, and I really wanted to bring it to Italy and sail it like on um, uh, like Cinque Terre or along the coast of Italy. That would be fun. 